Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode dedicated to the intricate world of Premier League football. Now, we all know the beautiful game can be a roller coaster of emotions. The highs of a last minute winner, the lows of a controversial VAR decision, and then there's the dreaded yellow card, or worse, the straight red. It can make or break a season for both players and clubs alike. Today, we'll be diving into which players are currently suspended, those walking the disciplinary tightrope, and how their absence might just impact their team's fortunes. Because let's face it, in this league, every point matters, every tackle counts, and a single suspension can have massive repercussions. So, whether you're a die-hard fan, eagerly anticipating your team's next fixture, or just enjoy a bit of tactical analysis, stick around. We've got all the latest suspension news right here, right now. Let's kick things off with a big one, shall we? Arsenal's Declan Rice is sidelined for the North London derby. A real shame for the player and fans, as this fixture always promises fireworks. Rice picked up his second yellow card of the season against Brighton. Those yellows can be a bit harsh sometimes, can't they? He'll miss the trip to Tottenham Hotspur. A blow for Arsenal, no doubt. The North London derby is always full of passion and intensity. Rice's absence will be felt in the middle of the park. Good news for Newcastle United fans. Fabian Shah is back from suspension. He served a three-match ban after a red card against Southampton. Shah is eager to return and help his team. He's a solid defender and a threat from set pieces. His return boosts Eddie Howe's squad for Wolves. Let's shift our attention to a young lad who's been turning heads this season, Manchester United's Kobe Mainu. He's shown real promise, but he's also picked up three yellow cards already. Now, three yellows at this stage of the season, that's a bit precarious, isn't it? It means he's just two bookings away from a suspension. Of course, we don't want to see any young player miss games unnecessarily, but it's a learning curve. Part of developing into a top-class player is understanding the disciplinary side of the game. Mainu will need to be careful in the coming weeks. One rash challenge, one moment of dissent, and he could find himself watching from the sidelines. Manchester United will be hoping he can keep his discipline in check as they navigate a busy period in their season. Chapter 4 Ali Al Hamadi On the watch list Over at Ipswich Town, Ali Al Hamadi is another player who needs to be wary of the disciplinary tightrope. He's currently sitting on two yellow cards. Now, two yellows isn't a disaster, not at this stage. But it's a reminder that things can change quickly in football. One clumsy tackle, one moment of frustration, and that's it. Al Hamadi's been a key player for Ipswich, so they'll be hoping he can steer clear of any unnecessary bookings. They need him on the pitch, contributing to their push for Premier League survival. It's a tough league, this. The pressure's on, week in, week out. But that's what makes it so compelling, isn't it? We'll be keeping a close eye on Al Hamadi and all the players on two yellows as the season unfolds. Chapter 5 Dan Byrne Discipline is key. Newcastle's Dan Byrne is another one who needs to watch his step. Two yellow cards to his name already this season. Now, Dan's a solid defender, a real no-nonsense centre-half. But even the most experienced players can get caught out sometimes. The Premier League's a fast-paced, physical league. It's easy to get caught up in the heat of the moment. But Newcastle will be reminding him that discipline is key. They need him on the pitch, marshalling that back line. They've got a good thing going at St James's Park and they won't want to see it derailed by unnecessary suspensions. 
Chapter 6. Rodrigo Bentancur. Tottenham's midfield maestro on a tightrope. Let's talk about Tottenham Hotspur for a moment. And their midfield maestro, Rodrigo Bentancur. A classy player, no doubt, but he's on thin ice with two yellow cards already this season. Now, we know Bentancur likes to get stuck in. He's got that tenacity that every team needs. But he's going to have to be careful. One wrong move, one mistimed tackle, and he could be facing a spell on the sidelines. Tottenham are still finding their feet under Ange Postacoglu, and they need their key players available. Bentancur's creativity in the middle of the park is crucial to their style of play. It's a long season, plenty of football still to be played. But those yellow cards can creep up on you. Tottenham fans will be hoping Bentancur can keep his cool and avoid any unnecessary bookings. Over at Craven Cottage, Fulham's captain, Tom Kearney, is another player who will need to tread carefully. He's picked up two yellow cards so far, which puts him in a precarious position. Now, Kearney's a seasoned professional. He knows the game inside out. He understands the importance of discipline, especially as captain. But sometimes, even the most experienced players can get caught out. The Premier League's a demanding league, and the pressure can be immense. Fulham will be hoping Kearney can use all his experience to guide the team and avoid any unnecessary bookings. They need their captain on the pitch, leading by example. It's a tightrope walk, but one that Kearney is more than capable of navigating. Let's head over to Molyneux now, where we find Wolves' young midfielder, Joao Gomes, walking a disciplinary tightrope. He's currently on two yellow cards, which means one wrong step could see him sidelined. Now, Gomes is a promising young talent, full of energy and enthusiasm. He's still adapting to the pace and physicality of the Premier League. But as any experienced pro will tell you, it's a steep learning curve you need to be clever, pick your battles, and know when to hold back. Wolves will be working closely with Gomes, nurturing his talent while emphasising the importance of discipline. They need him on the pitch, gaining experience and developing his game. It's a balancing act, but one that Gomes is capable of mastering. Staying at Molyneux, we find another Gomes who needs to be mindful of the disciplinary tightrope. Toti Gomes, a versatile defender, also finds himself on two yellow cards. Toti's a strong and committed player, always willing to put his body on the line. One rash challenge, and you can find yourself in the referee's book. Wolves will be hoping Toti can keep a cool head and avoid bookings. They need him on the pitch, providing stability at the back. Finally, let's head down to the south coast, where we find Southampton's Taylor Harwood Bellis walking a disciplinary tightrope. The young defender is currently on two yellow cards, a precarious position at this stage of the season. Now, Harwood Bellis is a promising talent, a ball-playing centre-half with a bright future ahead of him, but he's still learning the ropes at this level. The Premier League is a ruthless environment, and even the slightest lapse in concentration can be punished. One mistimed tackle, one moment of dissent, and you're in the book. Southampton will be working closely with Harwood Bellis, instilling in him the importance of discipline and game management. They need him on the pitch, gaining experience and developing his game. It's a tightrope walk, but one that Harwood Bellis is capable of navigating with the right guidance and support. So, there you have it. A look at the players currently suspended and those teetering on the edge of a ban. It's a constant reminder that in the Premier League, every decision counts, both on and off the pitch. Who knows how these suspensions might impact the upcoming fixtures? Will teams cope without their key players? Or will we see some surprise results? One thing's for sure, 
it adds another layer of intrigue to an already captivating season. That's all for our Premier League suspension update. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all the latest football news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.